I think what I like to say about human target is it, it's just, if you know somebody's trying to kill you and you're not having much luck with the authorities, you know, you need, a, uh, you need somebody to help. You need like a, a private detective, but not just like any private detective. It needs to be a guy with a special set of skills. And uh, the guy you call is uh, Christopher Chance, uh, the human target. Um, this guy has a, a set of skills where he can kind of infiltrate almost any situation and uh, take his client, take them, you know, out of, out of being the target and he puts the target squarely on his back, uh, you know, and he fights the good fight until he, until he gets them out of the mess. Guerrero is uh, Chance's go-to guy. Um, he's the guy that, uh, that, that simply gets things done. You know, and I think he's also an interesting kind of wedge between Winston and Chance. Um, you know, I think Winston is kind of the moral compass. And Guerrero, uh, I think his kind of his codes and his ethics uh, may be in question. You know, but I think over time we realize that this guy, you know, he, he does have a, a, a kind of a philosophy, you know, if you will. It just may not be something that normal people would agree with. I think Guerrero and Chance kind of go back. I think uh, you kind of have to ask yourself, what is it about, you know, Christopher Chance? What's happened in his life that makes him willing to take on such risk to, uh, to you know, place himself in, in, in danger uh, to try to save his clients, you know, these, these strangers? And I think, I think he's had some experience in, in his past that, uh, um, that Guerrero was perhaps part of. Um, you know, some defining moment. I think uh, that's going to be fun and interesting to get at. I think Guerrero just likes to bust Winston's chops. I think they both come from two different worlds. I think Guerrero recognizes Winston's uh, skill set. You know, Winston comes from uh, the police world. And as a result, uh, you know, he's, he's got incredible contacts in that world. Um, over the years, he's been learning how these guys operate, but he still kind of comes from that police mentality. I think his, his ethics and his, his moral um, compass is kind of, you know, connected to that. And, uh, but, you know, I think Guerrero still has, has some fun with that. While he can recognize his skills and, uh, and recognize the fact that, yeah, well, we need this guy around. It's good to have Winston around. I don't think he'd ever admit it, you know. And, and there's a lot of, of this world um, that Guerrero lives in that, that uh, Winston just doesn't understand or, or fully get because, again, he just comes from such a different world. You know, the way I kind of like to look at this thing, especially after seeing the pilot, is to me it's kind of the action movie of the week, you know? And it really, and, and it, that's what it looks like. You know, I mean, these guys really have this thing looking like a, a movie. You know, in the pilot, there's this wonderful... Um, action sequence that takes place in the in the middle of it you know on the on the train and in, in the ducks in the train and and uh it's just incredible i mean i was just floored when i was watching as i turned to my wife I was like man this thing really looks like a flick i think it works on a lot of different levels you know there's a lot of different types of genres and uh you know this genre is a grab a beer sit down and, and jump on the roller coaster you know, it's mostly a procedural show that just kind of kicks ass, it hums along, and you've got a great action hero who's got a couple of good supporting guys. There's a real neat dynamic between the relationships between these guys that help to define one another. And, um, you know, I think uh, that we're going we're to start kind of putting in just this much uh, kind of serial quality to where we start to understand these guys a little bit more and maybe what brought them to this point. And, and, and that'll be neat getting after, you know, having this in-your-face action um, series that also, you know, just gets a little bit of that, uh, of that depth with these characters so we can relate to it a bit more. Um, so I'm really looking forward to getting at that.